it is your host here. Once again, it is Team Ra right now. Did you guys and gals had a chance to watch the video of earlier today? If not, smash that bell. Hit that like button if you like the latest video from earlier today. If not, that's fine by me. I don't give a darn. I don't. If you like them, that's fine. If you don't like them, I'm not going to force you to tune in. So, if you hit the subscribe, that's fine. With me. If you hit that um, notification, notification, you will. I mean, if you hit that bell, you will get notification from YouTube. And a lot of mumbo jumbo. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat. Grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do anything like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my awesome thoughts, my awesome opinions on this subject. And, of course, the article will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Now, this past Monday was the last roll before the WTLC for this Sunday. Now, usually, it's like a, you know, I call it the last episode before TLC. A lot of you call it the last stop before TLC or the last... It's a go-home show before TLC. The audience was not really into it. It seemed like it. W does not put their... I mean, they put their effort in it. The wrestlers, in my opinion, my thoughts. But the writing team is awful. Actually, they shouldn't even have a pay-per-view for December. They should just skip it and just concentrate... On the road to WrestleMania, and they'll start in 2020, the beginning of the brand new year. They have so many pay per views. You know, I don't mind gimmick pay per views, but enough is enough. With the TLC, should just be a match, not a pay per view name. It's so stupid. Same thing for the Hell in a Cell. That should just be a match only. Maybe one day they go back to the original game plan. You know, but probably will never ever happen. It's all about the money with the company. Okay. While SmackDown was able to resent and increase the, uh, the audience with the program of the TLC storyline, last week, Raw did not have the same luck. And the show saw a decline of the audience. You guys could read the numbers if you like. It's very sad. Raw has suffering for years. And W does not give a crap. You know? They try to have like Hall of Famers, legends in there. That's fine and dandy. For the first segment, the first hour, then after that, it declines. You know? They try bringing Austin. That's fine and dandy. But eventually, it declines. And that is so, so. Sad, they got to bring these guys in who used to work for WWE because the current guys and gals cannot cut the mustard and help out the ratings. You know, that is WWE's fault. The wrestlers do try, okay, but they don't give them enough. Um, they don't give them, um, they on a leash, they just should just unleash the leash. And let them do whatever they want to. You know? Let them be more edgier. And maybe people will like these characters. This whole Russo and Bobby Lashley and Lana. That is so awful. And I watch it every week. And I just shake my head. Really, W? Really? You bring Bobby Lashley for this garbage? And you have Russo for this garbage? And Lana too? Let have Lana go back with her husband. You know, they really marry. This is so stupid. And let her be the manager because she sucks as a wrestler. She tried it before and it's horrible. And the money bank for the women's division, horrible. You know? Or let her pose for magazines, you know? If W still let her pose for, for Playboy, I guarantee she'll be on the front cover. But it's not TV 14 anymore, so it's not going to happen. She's very beautiful. Let her do her own thing. And there's rumors that 
possibility she wants to be the new Mortal Kombat, that's fine. Because I guess Ron Rousey, that was just a rumor, you know? There's other rumors that Ron Rousey is going to retire and start a family. I guess that's a rumor. So you cannot really believe these freaking rumors on the internet, you know? So I think WWE needs Ron Rousey. Or does Ron Rousey need the WWE? What's your thoughts, you know? I think she's the most dominant woman in today's era, Ron Rousey. She will kick anybody's behind. Do you think she's tougher than um, Becky Lynch? Tougher than Charlotte Flair? Or tougher than um, Sasha Banks? Or tougher than um, Bailey? I think she is, you know? Just because the ladies they just mentioned, the, the woes, these ladies they just mentioned has wrestling experience, but Ron Rousey has more experience in other, um, you know, MMA and all that stuff, you know? I think she will come back eventually on the win. Maybe in 2020 she will come back. Ron Rousey, let's see what's going to happen. Everyone out there, have a good one. It's sad that... Like the road to WrestleMania on that Raw, it sucks because these wrestlers don't want to put in their effort because they don't want to get injured. Same thing for the last episode for Raw, they don't put in no effort because they don't want to get injured before that pay-per-view when that Sunday IAX. I understand, but still, put freaking effort. These fans um, bought these tickets. They want to see a good entertainer sh entertainment show, but WWE does not give a crap. They just want your money and that's it. They don't give a crap if it's a good show or not. So, they better, they better do something before this company goes belly up like WCW did back in the day. And I miss WCW. The cruiserweights, the great storylines. But after a while, WCW got so bad, you know. Like WWE is, but I still like WWE, you know. I've been watching WWE or WF slash WWE for a long, long time. Have a good one and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Little Gators, sign off.